North Korea has never recognized the sovereignty of Israel and has consistently supported Palestine since the Yom Kippur War. Of course, they support Palestine, as North Korea has been involved in several conflicts with other countries, particularly in relation to regional tensions in the Korean Peninsula. One of the most notable conflicts was the Korean War from 1950 to 1953. This war began when North Korea invaded South Korea, which was supported by the United States and its allies. For the battlefront in Korea, equipped with top-notch weapons, armor, and artillery, it's not surprising that they are involved in diplomatic and nuclear conflicts with many countries, including the United States and others. North Korea's nuclear program has raised international concerns and caused tensions in various regions. How exactly would North Korea's enemies react when the Hwasong-18 intercontinental ballistic missile is launched? This missile is rumored to be capable of reaching the United States mainland. Since the beginning of his leadership, Kim Jong-un has actively accelerated his country's nuclear program. In 2013, North Korea even announced that they had successfully conducted a nuclear bomb test. During his tenure, the country has conducted a series of nuclear tests that show progress in the development of nuclear weapons, including the development of ballistic missile capabilities that can carry nuclear payloads and increase international concerns. This includes their first successful test for the Hwasong-18, North Korea's first solid fuel or solid propellant intercontinental ballistic missile ICBM. The launch occurred on Wednesday, April 12, 2023 at 7.23 a.m. local time from a location near Pyongyang. The Japanese Coast Guard reported that the missile landed at 8.19 a.m. The launch location is suspected to be from the international airport near North Korea's capital, which has been the main site for major missile tests since 2017. Following the next test conducted on July 12, 2023, this launch was carried out in utmost secrecy at an undisclosed location. The long-range missile successfully flew for 74 minutes before ultimately falling into Japanese waters on Wednesday morning morning, making it the longest flight time for a North Korean missile test, covering a distance of 621 miles to an altitude of 21,815 feet. This provocative action by North Korea followed their threats to the United States, asserting their readiness to shoot down U.S. spy planes flying near their territory. However, Washington firmly denied North Korea's accusations regarding the spy plane. They emphasized that every military patrol conducted complies with international law and there were no reconnaissance aircraft violating the law as North Korea claimed. This test was directly supervised by Kim Jong-un. It marked a step forward in North Korea's military capabilities which have aggressively been developing missile technology since starting a series of tests in 2016. The launch of the Hwasong-19 immediately garnered attention when photos of the missile were released a few hours later. Interestingly, the Hwasong-18 appeared to use a transporter erector launcher, or TEL, with a giant tube first seen in a North Korean military parade in February of that year. At that time, North Korea showcased various ballistic missiles such as the HS-14, HS-15 and HS-17. The soft launch, where the missile safely exits the tube, seems to be the method of choice for the Hwasong-18, indicating that this is an early stage in the strategic missile system. The use of a large TEL also highlights a shift in North Korea's approach, now more seriously developing and implementing its missile technology. The solid fuel used by the Hwasong-18 allows for quicker and more efficient launches, eliminating the need for long fueling periods. This speed makes the Hwasong-18 less vulnerable to preemptive strikes and attacks against other countries that appear to be preparing or are in the process of an attack, and enhances its durability and responsiveness on the battlefield. Observers estimate that the Hwasong-18 can reach a distance of no less than 9,320 miles, not far off from the capabilities of its predecessor, the Hwasong-17, which could reach the United States mainland and was nicknamed the Monster Missile. The Hwasong-18 is estimated to weigh between 55 to 60 tons, have a length of about 82 feet and a diameter of approximately 6.6 .6 feet. Compared to the United States Titan II, it would be considered equivalent. 
However, the Japanese Ministry of Defense reported that the Hwasong-18 only managed to fly approximately 621 miles in a steep trajectory consistent with North Korea's previous test patterns. What remains unknown is the actual range and whether it carries a nuclear warhead, both of which are major questions in evaluating its overall capabilities. The Hwasong series of missiles, designed as long-range ballistic missiles capable of crossing continents or oceans, was first introduced by North Korea in 2015 with the Hwasong-14. The development and testing of these missiles have continued since then, leading up to the Hwasong-18. The name Hwasong means Firestar in Korean, reflecting North Korea's ambition and nationalist spirit in developing advanced military technology. This moniker is interpreted as a symbol of strength and courage within the context of their nuclear and ballistic missile programs. These missiles have become a focal point in North Korea's military development efforts, showcasing their ambition to enhance their long-range projectile capabilities. The Hwasong launch bases are typically located at various sites in North Korea, but their exact locations are often kept secret. Some launch bases are mobile, allowing North Korea to increase the mobility and flexibility of its missile launches. The missile tests have indeed triggered a serious response from the foreign ministers of the ASEAN countries who quickly released a joint statement regarding the ballistic missile launches in the Korean Peninsula. This statement was issued during the ASEAN post-ministerial conference meetings in Jakarta and released on July 13, 2023. The ASEAN foreign ministers expressed their deep concern regarding North Korea's ballistic missile launch on July 12, 2023. The statement reads, This action is highly disappointing, especially during the 56th ASEAN Ministerial Meeting, Post-Ministerial Conference or AMMPMC and other ASEAN-led meetings. We reaffirm our commitment to advancing peace, security and stability in the region, which is also a commitment of the DPRK as a member of the ASEAN Regional Forum. The ASEAN foreign ministers also stressed the importance of North Korea taking steps to de-escalate tensions and issued a call to encourage peaceful dialogue among the involved parties. They urged the creation of an environment supportive of lasting peace and stability in the Korean peninsula, which has been a matter of serious concern. Since the test was conducted, it marked North Korea's 12th missile test within six months, leading many countries to consider it excessive. Additionally, since last October, North Korea has officially clarified rumors that they have been assisting the Palestinian militant group Hamas in its conflict against Israel. This was confirmed through an official statement from the state news agency of Kim Jong-un's regime. Before this official statement, several US military and intelligence experts had suspected North Korea of supplying various weapons to Hamas for use against Israel. However, North Korea denied these allegations, claiming the information was false. According to them, these reports were just a way for the United States to find a new scapegoat for the conflict in Gaza. Radio Free Asia also reported that North Korea has become part of a coalition united with Hamas. Ali Baraka, a senior Hamas official, stated that this cooperation opens the possibility for North Korea to launch attacks against the United States. Baraka also praised Kim Jong-un as the only leader capable of carrying out such attacks. If North Korea were to use the Hwasong-18 ballistic missile to aid Palestine in attacking Israel, the consequences would be catastrophic. Even the Hwasong-17 missile, believed to have a range of more than 9,320 miles and capable of carrying three or four warheads, would pose a significant threat. Israel would face serious difficulties in defending itself if North Korea were to provide this type of missile support to Palestine.